Hello, in this demo we are going to talk about how to add a domain into DNS Made Easy. There are two ways you can get into the DNS section for the Manage DNS section in DNS Made Easy. Number one is once you log in into your main dashboard, you go to DNS and you click on Manage DNS. That's what most people do. Or you can just click on any existing domain you have in your account and you're automatically in the Manage DNS section. So once you get into this section, you'll see you have a button up on top that says Add Domains and then you're going to get a little board that pops up that you can enter one to 1,000 domains at a time if you would like. I'm gonna enter uh, my example test.com, just do one domain and click OK. At this point, it's gonna delegate you to a set of DNS Made Easy name servers that are pretty much associated with your account. You will then wanna add your domain um, at, with, at the registrar to use DNS Made Easy name servers. You wanna modify that domain registration. But before you do that, you wanna make sure you do add your records into DNS Made Easy first. So that is something that's pretty important. You don't want to uh, delegate your domain to use DNS Media's name server until your records are in there because you don't want any NX domains, record not founds to be shown. Now, the important part is, is that it does take about 10 minutes to add your domain to, into DNS Made Easy. And that's because we are adding your domain into about 2,000 name servers we have around the world. Now, once a record, once your domain is added, any record modifications you make in the future are immediate. So you add that record, it's automatically going to be going to all 2,000 name servers. That's, that's a pretty much instantaneous process. But it's just the adding and deletion of domains that does take a few minutes. Now, that was the simplest way to add a domain, and then we're going to manually enter the records. You do have another option, though. You have uh, different wizards you can use. And we're going to go through some of these advanced things. So once again, you can list as many domains as you would like to. And then some of the advanced options are the global traffic director. This allows you to do GeoDNS for your domain where you can specify uh, different responses based on the different regions around the world. You can apply your domain to a template. The nice thing about templates allows you to put a standard and a templated set of records and apply them to all your domains. So if you change your template, it changes all the domains that are applied or locked to it. We have vanity name server configuration, and this is if you'd like to rebrand our name servers and call them something else. This is very popular with web hosting companies. You have a custom SOA record, a start of authority record that you can change as well. We give you a standard one, a best practice one, but if you'd like to uniquely customize that, you can. We do allow for zone transfer acts for ACLs, and this is if you want to run your own secondary name servers from ours. So we have 2,000 name servers. We give you a list of name servers that you're going to give your registrar, which represents the 2,000 name servers in our IPNECast Plus network. But if you'd like to run secondary name servers yourself, you can actually do that. So if you make any changes to our control panel or our API, it will automatically send out a notify and then do an X for X for to those systems. So those systems would then actually do X for X for to us and then they'll have all the same records propagated everywhere. And the, another option is folders. This is if you had multiple users or groups in your company and you wanted different people to have different permissions on which domains they can see or read or read write. And the lastly, which is important when you're adding a domain actually, is the record import. So you can copy all your, your records from an existing template you have in DNS Made Easy. You can copy all your records from an existing domain or, or you can do an import or, or for an ax for now. For the first two, if you put more than one domain up on top, uh, so if I did mytest1.com and I did mytest2.com, if I did copy from template, both of these domains would get the exact same records copied over into it. If I did copy from domain, it would copy from an existing domain I have within DNS Made Easy, and it would copy all those records into the same domain. So it gives you the exact same records in both of them. But if I do import from Axfer, what this is actually going to do is it's going to do the RFC compliant Axfer process, which we're just as if we were a secondary name server. And what this process will do is it allows us to do an Axfer out to these name servers and import all those records in, and we copy those records into the DNS Made Easy configuration. So this is where it would actually do different records for all your different domains. It's going to do a separate Axfer for every single domain you have listed up above. So that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is to add a domain into DNS Made Easy. Once again, if you have any questions, always let our support team know, and we'd be more than happy to help you.